Hello learners, it's nice to be back again. Welcome to Grade 8 Bread and Face Reproduction Week 4, Day 10. Our learning competency for this week is to perform basic preventive maintenance. And today, our topic is all about types and uses of cleaning materials. Learning objectives. At the end of the learning period, the student should be able to first identify the types and uses of natural cleaning materials, second, describe the procedures in creating disinfecting solution using natural disinfectant, and third, appreciate the use of natural cleaning materials for the maintenance of baking tools and equipment. Let's see what you have already known for today's topic. Multiple choice. Identify the natural disinfectant being described. Encircle the letter of the correct answer. Again, you can get your notebook to write your answer. Feel free to stop or post the video to give time to think, but don't forget to play the video to check your answer. Number one, which of the following disinfectant can be used as deodorizer for refrigerators? A. Baking soda, B. Borax, C. Lemon juice, D. Tea tree oil. A. Baking soda. Number two, what natural disinfectant can be used to remove soft scum and hard water deposits? A. Baking soda, B. Borax, C. Lemon juice, D. Tea tree oil. C. Lemon juice. Number three, what cleaning material is considered as a stain remover stronger than baking soda? A. Baking soda, B. Borax, C. Lemon juice, D. Tea tree oil. B. Borax. Number four, what is a quite expensive natural disinfectant used to remove molds and mildew? A. Baking soda, B. Borax. C. Lemon juice. D. Tea tree oil. B. Tea tree oil. And last, number five, which of the following can be used to scrub away food debris? A. Bacterial free sponge. B. Baking soda. C. Lemon juice. D. Tea tree oil. A. Bacterial free sponge. Let's have a review of what have you learned from our previous topic. Directions. Read the statement carefully. Write T if the statement is correct and F if it's incorrect. Number one, handle fragile tools with care. T. Number two, store knives, blades, or sharp, sharp edge up. F. Number three, have a separate cutting board for meat and vegetables. T. Number four, select knife that is light, comfortable, and balances in your hand. T. Number five, check wiring when an electrical accident occurs. F. Let's discuss about maintain tools and equipment, types and uses of cleaning materials, disinfectant. Disinfection destroys microorganisms that can cause spoilage, infection, or undesirable effect to non-living things. It is different from sanitation because sanitation involves extreme process that can kill all microorganisms. Let's identify the different natural disinfectant, its uses, and mixture. First, vinegar. Uses, disinfectant, deodorizer for kitchen appliances and floors except for marble surfaces. For the mixture, we can mix one part of vinegar and one part of water in a spray bottle. We can add orange, lime, or lemon peel for fragrance. Let it sit for five days before use. Next is lemon juice. Uses disinfectant, or we can use it to remove soft scum and hard water deposits. Clean and shine finish for brass and copper materials, and as furniture polisher. For the mixture, we can mix equal part of lemon noise and vinegar, or mix lemon with baking soda to make a paste. 
We can cut a lemon and spread baking soda on the cut section to make a scrub for surfaces. We have the baking soda. Use as disinfectant scrub for the surfaces and as deodorizer for refrigerator. For the mixture, we can use as is. We can place a box of baking soda in a refrigerator. Replace it after 30 days. Or spread baking soda on the cut section of the lemon to scrubbing surfaces. Next is borax. Disinfectant, stain remover, remove molds and mildew killers for mopping floors and stronger than baking soda. For the mixture, to make an all-purpose cleaner, we can mix 3 tablespoons of borax, 1 cup of vinegar, and 3 cups of water. Or spread cleaner on the cut section of the lemon for scrubbing. Tea tree oil uses disinfectant with aromatic fragrance. Remove molds and mildew. To make an all-purpose cleaner, you can add 10 drops of tea tree oil to 2 cups of hot water and half cup of vinegar. Last is the bacteria-free sponge. Used to scrub away food debris and use as is or with other natural disinfectants. Other uses of disinfectant. Number one, for washing dishes. Rub a mixture of sea salt or coarse salt mixed with a little lemon juice. Make a paste by mixing baking soda and water. This works well on stained cups or mugs and even the cutting board. Rub a sponge with bar soap or use a plain liquid vegetable based soap. You can add few slices of lemon to the water to help remove grease and make your dishes smell like lemon. Number two, for washing large surfaces, you can dissolve one half cup of borax in one gallon of hot water. You can also use soap, water, or washing soda or sodium carbonate monohydrate. For number three, oven cleaner, periodically clean with baking soda and water. Immediately wipe away spills or any grease after use. Use non-metallic scrub with baking soda paste when scrubbing grease or spills. You can also mix 2 tablespoons of liquid dish soap, 2 teaspoons of borax dissolved in 2 cups of water, apply and let sit for 20 minutes before scrubbing. For self-cleaning oven, do not use any abrasive cleaning material. For activity number 10A, enumerate the natural cleaning materials and their uses. We have the vinegar. Disinfectant deodorizer. Lemon juice. Disinfectant removes soap scum and hard water deposits. Clean and shine finish for brass and copper and furniture polisher. Next is baking soda. Disinfectant deodorizer for refrigerator. We have the borax. Disinfectant stain remover. Remove molds and mildew killers stronger than baking soda. Tea tree oil, disinfectant, remove molds and mildew. And last, bacterial free sponge used to scrub away food debris. B. Match column A with column B. Read the description. Number 1. It can be mixed to water to create a cleaning solution. D. Vinegar. Number 2. It can be used to remove soap scum and hard water deposits. A. Lemon juice. Number 3. A strain, stain remover stronger than baking soda. Letter E. Borax. Number 4. A quite expensive natural disinfectant used to remove molds and mildew. B. Tea tree oil. Number 5. It can be used as deodorizer for refrigerators. C. Baking soda. Let's proceed to wrap up. Complete the table below to summarize the lesson. First column is natural cleaning materials and disinfectant, and for the second column is the uses. Then, answer the question, which one would you prefer to use to clean and disinfect your tools and equipment, and why? For the appreciation of today's lesson, you have to simulate a situation. If you are assigned to place an advertisement, in the newspaper, how would you make it giving importance to the natural cleaning materials
for the maintenance of your tools and equipment. You can place your advertisement here. Post test. Identify the natural disinfectant being described. Encircle the letter of the correct answer. Number one, what cleaning material is considered as a stain remover stronger than baking soda? A. Baking soda. B. Borax. C. Lemon juice. D. Tea tree oil. B. Borax. Number two, which of the following can be used to scrub away food debris? A. Bacterial spray sponge. B. Baking soda. C. Lemon juice. D. Tea tree oil. A. Bacterial spray sponge. Number 3. What natural disinfectant can be used to remove soap scum and hard water deposits? A. Baking soda. B. Borax. C. Lemon juice. D. Tea tree oil. C. Lemon juice. Number 4. Which of the following natural disinfectant can be used as deodorizer for refrigerators? A. Baking soda. B. Borax. C. Lemon juice. D. Tea tree oil. A. Baking soda. And 5. What is a quite expensive natural disinfectant used to remove molds and mildew? A. Baking soda. B. Borax. C. Lemon juice. D. Tea tree oil. D. Tea tree oil. That's the end of our lesson for today. Don't forget to study your lessons and keep safe at home. Thank you. God bless. See you in our next session.